Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to set up my budget planner for the month of March. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you to everybody who have been returning. I appreciate each and every last one of you so much. Now the printable inserts that you're seeing right now, they came from my Etsy shop. Now the bad cutting, that was all me. <laughs> horrible at cutting paper but let's jump right on into everything okay so for the month of march i chose a daffodil theme for the beginning of spring uh, when it's not so doom and gloom just looking out the window is just like oh so i chose that so that way it brighten up my planner i also offer like a black and white one that's been consistent all year so if you just want one black and white you don't want a lot of color there is an option out there for that too and they do come in three sizes um letter this is happy planner classic but you could take the letter size and actually down um change the percentage to like 83 i believe and print it for the happy planner also have an a5 size and my Etsy shop is so sweet plans s o o s w e e t p l a n s i always forget to say what my shop name is <laughs> but it is always in the comment section as well as a little discount um code that you can put in so here's march and so while we're here why not just i'm gonna pull this page out and this is why I use the Happy Planner, why it works better for me. I have long fingers, you know. And writing in any notebook, normally, I don't write on the back of any page unless it's like a spiral notebook. But yeah, I normally don't write on the back of the page. Now, these stickers came from Caffeinated Kate. These aren't mine. Um, I bought these from her maybe about two years ago. And so I've been trying to use up my stash before I try to go and buy any more. One of the things I'm trying to get away from is a lot of waste. So that's my rent. But yeah, the Happy Planner just helps me take everything out. I can do what I need to do. And also I need my payday, which is the 28th. I forgot about that one. Girl, got to get paid. So there, that's payday number one. And I'm gonna take a payday sticker for payday number two for me, which is the 15th. See, I put this back in here and I can't get to the 15th. <laughs> this is the downside to have on my fingers. All right, that's payday number two. And so, like, the 31st, that's my first paycheck for April. Now, I was, you know, asked about moving, like, when I pay my bills and stuff like that. Around two of my bills are on auto pay and two of them aren't. So, I pay my rent when I get paid on the 28th or whenever that day is, I'll pay it. So, it's done by the 1st. And also the utilities. Now, my utilities are paid um, early. My due date is normally the first or second of the next month. So, um, like my bill for, I got my bill for February on the 15th. And it's due on the second. So, technically, I've already paid it. And so, it's done with. So, that's one of them that I can pay early. And it's better if it comes out of this paycheck number two versus paycheck number one i like it that way all right so the next two things are my internet that comes out automatically so that is the fourth and i have been on auto pay with them forever um it's just i don't let things that have like there are get the words out like the variability if something really like a large jump like my utilities could possibly happen I don't let that come out automatically I pay it manually but like internet and cell phone they tend to stay the same so I trust those companies just to go ahead and take what they need and it won't upset my little apple cart over here the next thing I have in my budget planner I do a monthly budget take my notes for the month because I normally budget for the month by the middle of the previous month 
I have to make notes and things like that, things I can remember, stuff I want to um, do, maybe not even in March, but in April, I write that down. And so I capture that here. And it's just something I picked up when I was paying off debt, and it just helps to settle my nerves. And then I have my two paychecks, so I also do paycheck budgets. I know that may be overkill for some people, but for me, this changes. Right, so paycheck number one, paycheck number two, something may change and then I can recalibrate because by doing my monthly budget, I can tell, okay, I had, let's say I said 1600 or 1500 is going to savings and then something's coming up. I can schedule it and say, hey, we're going to push that after the 15th, then use my second paycheck to pay for that expense. So hopefully that makes sense. But in the budget inserts, they actually come with five paycheck budgets. So if you need five, you can print all five of them. Um, I only need two. I also do a weekly check-in, and this is for my cash envelopes. This is how I monitor how I spend my cash. I'm a salaried employee, so that means that I don't get anything extra. It doesn't matter how many hours I work, I'm going to get the same check. So every dime I have to make the most out of it and so with my cash that's the area where I tend to overspend a lot and I don't want that um, automatically you know like messing with debit cards and stuff like that because I'm very desensitized to using those and I like to shop and I'll just keep going and keep going but cash is a very hard reminder for me to stop and I can manage that here how much I'm spending and my envelope cheating because I used to be a very big envelope cheater but all the little mistakes I would make are not mistakes, intentional mistakes. <laughs> Whatever I was doing would occur within those cash envelopes. It never happened against my checking account. So my bills, I was able to keep going as normal until I got that spending under control. And then whatever savings I was getting here, I would use that to make extra payments on my debt. So in the future, any savings I get here will go to my emergency fund or any of the savings that I want to get this year it'll go there or maybe to my um my savings challenges that I have going on right now I may need to put some more money in that the money I'm using right now I saved that in 20 maybe 2022 I think I saved that last year. So it's going to run out at some point. I have that money. If I need to beef it up a little bit, I can use half of this money to kind of offset what's going on over there and just keep going that way. Um, and then finally for me, I have the sinking funds tracker. And so it's to me, I keep them as a spread. And so what I have my funds here and then what I spend comes out over here in my spending tracker for that. Um, and so I just have a few categories that I need for things that I have predicted that I have expenses coming up in the future. Um, I don't have small children. My sons, they work. My oldest son lives with me, but still I, there's very little of his expenses I take care of. So this is all the things that's really are surrounding me buying gifts and things like that and so that's what this is sorry y'all hear my jacket scrub my desk um and the last thing I have is my bank teller slips and so I just cut one of these out take it to with me to the bank and that lets them know how many denominations you know of each what I need and they give that back to me and so me and the lady at the bank we have a nice little relationship she actually likes <laughs> She actually likes these because she doesn't have to ask me what I need. She's really sweet. But I'm going to take a moment and fill out my weekly check-in and my sinking funds. And so that way you'll be able to see what I'm going to do with uh, my weekly check-in, how I'm going to budget my money there, and then what categories I have in my sinking funds.
I put my categories in my cash envelope breakdown. So when I do that for the month, I can just go ahead and have that written out and just fill out my um, withdrawal slip for the bank. So I got that. Um, I have my four week weekly check in and it's only four weeks because I do my weeks uh, Sunday through Saturday. I do my check ins on Saturday, but I count the number of Sundays and that determines how many weeks I have in a month. And so I've determined that I have four weeks because there are four Sundays in March. Um, and so I have all my categories. I always give myself $150 in groceries every week. The other categories can vary. I'm trying to reduce the amount that I'm spending uh, dining out. Household, I just need to stop experimenting and playing with stuff. <laughs> I buy little gadgets and stuff every now and then and just buy what I need. Uh, personal, that I can buy whatever I want there, but you know, I don't need to spend a lot. Um, so, cause I pretty much have most of what I need, but every now and then I'll come up with something. I want a book or something like that. So I need to make sure I have money available for those little things and that to, so that way I can take care of those things. So that way, cause I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's like when it's too tight, when my budget is too tight, the moment it loosens up, I tend to overspend then. So I like to have some flex in there. Now I wrote in all of my sinking funds. The last three I was able to put in, I really could have put in travel too. I just can't remember what it is right now. I think it's like at 1200, but I have to check and make sure. I didn't put in everything above that because February is still going and I need to make sure that uh, whatever I'm going to do, I do that. And then I can have the ending balance for February will be my starting balance for March. So I'm going to come back in and take care of that. So thank y'all so much for watching because yeah, that is everything for me. There's also a date tracker in the... Um, budget inserts i don't have any debt you guys know that i paid off my debt in november of 2021 so yeah i've been out of debt for like a year and i am super super thankful but it is in the budget insert i just don't have it printed here but thank y'all so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys again on saturday when we do my weekly check-in so if you're checking in you're feel free to join me <laughs> as we count our monies and make sure we've done what we're supposed to do for the week y'all have a great one bye